Hey everyone, it's Alexander, the real Mr. Robinson. Welcome to the channel. So I apologize in advance that this video is going to be in audio form only. Uh, normally when I do an audio review, that means I'm in the middle of a move or I have no equipment set up to do so because of said move. That's not the case this time around. Uh, the little clip-on mic that I've been using all year since January crapped out on me. So I've been spending all day trying to find a replacement. Uh, I could find nothing that was compatible with my actual camera, so I had to order a replacement of the same mic on Amazon. And unfortunately, until I get that replacement, which should be tomorrow as of recording this review, uh, I'm going to be doing audio only. So that means my review for Lilo and Stitch will unfortunately be delayed till next week. I'll be reviewing that movie the same week as Treasure Planet. And my review for Wes Craven's New Nightmare will not come out this Friday, but instead it'll be pushed to next Monday, meaning that the remake will be pushed to next Friday. So I do apologize in advance for this delay in reviews, but thankfully there was a movie that I saw a while back that... I now have the opportunity to talk about without having to get in front of the camera, and that's Titan, which is the big Palme d'Or winner at the Cannes Film Festival this year, and it's been getting a lot of buzz. I saw this movie a couple weeks ago. People have described it as very disturbing, very bizarre, and uh, one of the best films of the year. I wish I could be on that camp because uh, I flat out hated this movie. I'm just getting that out of the way right now. I'm not going to hide how I feel about this movie. And if you follow me on Twitter, you probably already know that I despise this. And even if I didn't hate this movie, to actually talk about it without spoiling anything would be flat out impossible because I really have to go into this movie to explain why I hate it as much as I did. So for those of you who have not seen it but you are interested I would say tune out, try to see the movie if you possibly can, and then come back and uh, finish the rest of the review. But for everyone else, let's just get this review started. And the movie is actually two movies in one. The first movie is about a woman named Alexa who works as a showgirl for a motor show. She experienced a tragic accident as a kid where her skull was seriously injured and she had a titanium plate put on her head as a result. So later in life, this woman turns out to be a serial killer. She's murdered several men and women, including people that you would think are her friends or co-workers. It's really weird, and we don't get much of an explanation on why she does the things she does. Oh, and she has sex with a car. Yeah, there's a scene in this movie where she's in the shower of her work area right after murdering somebody. She basically tries to rinse off all the blood and drool off this man that she murdered, but she ends up finding a car outside. She walks out to it naked. And she just straps in inside and has sex with it. Soon she finds out that she's pregnant. And she also kills several other people in very creative ways. Albeit disturbing. And the kills in this movie definitely one-up Halloween kills in terms of its murders. So she has to basically outrun the law. And in order to do that, she has to transform into a completely different person. And she does that by cutting her hair, putting tape around her stomach to hide the pregnancy and breaking her own nose. So she definitely looks unrecognizable by the end of it. And that's kind of where the first movie stops. The second movie is about a fire captain named Vincent. And when he sees Alexa in disguise, he looks at her as his long lost son, Adrian. So Alexa is taken into this fire station, is trained by the other firefighters, and kind of treated as the favorite. And... Nothing really happens throughout this second half of the movie up until she eventually gives birth to this car baby. I warned you about spoilers, so don't come crying to me that, why'd you spoil that? I gave you a warning in advance. So when this movie actually started, I actually was kind of intrigued. I went into this knowing nothing about it, and I've been told that it's disturbing, it's a body horror film... And yeah, her having sex with a car is bizarre, but as far as people calling it disturbing... They were not wrong. Uh, the murders are pretty violent, pretty drawn out, uh, and uh, the movie is expertly shot. The lead actress, Agathe Roselle, is really good. And throughout the movie, there's a lot of tension on when she's actually going to give birth to this car baby. Uh, and you're just kind of waiting for it to happen. But then once the second half of the movie starts, that's when the movie gets flat out boring. Nothing really happens in terms of a plot. Uh, 
And it seems like everything that was addressed in the first half of the movie is abandoned, except for the end of the movie. There's a firefighter that confronts Alexa and says, I know your secret. And you're like, oh, this guy knows that she's actually a serial killer and not the captain's son. And in terms of that Captain Vincent, Vincent Linden plays that role and he does a good job as well. But again, throughout this entire second half, nothing happens. And even that big ticking time bomb of the other firefighter knowing, that doesn't go anywhere. And by the end of the movie, I thought to myself, okay, that was a lot of nothing happening. Not really all that disturbing, despite what people say. But maybe this car baby that comes out will be interesting because... They keep building up this pregnancy and that her stomach's about to burst. Granted, the more time goes on and the bigger the baby gets, I don't know how she's able to, like, hide that baby bump, but whatever. Uh, by the time we get to the big pregnancy uh, and it's just a regular baby with a titanium back, I was let down. Maybe it's because of my expectations, but... I saw this woman have sex with a car. I expected something a lot more crazy and more insane than a baby with a titanium spine. And I just felt incredibly disappointed. All that time sitting through nothing and that's what I got in return? Get out of here with that. This is a movie that I am clearly on the minority with. I know a lot of other people have been giving this high praise. It's gotten really good reviews. And it's the movie that France submitted to be nominated for Best Foreign Film at the Oscars next Next year but I just don't get this I absolutely hate it I don't expect anyone to agree with me what I just said and maybe some people will call me out on this saying that I'm wrong how I'm just some mainstream snob and uh, for that I say who cares I'm not gonna tell this movie to burn in hell because it never made me angry the way Venom let there be carnage made me angry so I'm just gonna say don't waste your money on it I know it's getting good reviews but I'm sorry this is one where I just have to break away from the crowd and say no this is terrible now will it land on my bottom 10 it could very well be I acknowledge that there are worse movies this year and I have seen worse movies this year but this movie just did not work for me at all. Like, people call it body horror. Not really. Uh, shocking. I mean, in the first half, yeah, but the rest of the movie just doesn't work for me. I, I feel like I saw a different movie than everyone else. And there you go. That's my review for Tatane. I hope you enjoyed it. Now I want to know what you guys think about the movie. If you've seen it, what did you think? Whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, this is The Real Mr. Robinson telling you... There's only one. Hello everyone, I just wanted to say thank you all for listening to my review for Tatane. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell button to get notifications. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, go check out my Twitch channel, and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, have a good day, and take care of yourselves.